Hey guys, Jaynam here again with a new tutorial in which I show how I added the jump animation that we created with Blunder into the Unity Low Poly Game Kit. So first let's have a look at the result, here's my character and when I press the space bar, the jump animation is played. You can also configure the jump speed, I added a property to my C-sharp script to the player controller. The default value is 7, so let's set this here to let's say 13. And now you should be able to jump really high. Ok, you could also jump here up the mountain if you like. And you can see that the recovery from the jump, this recovery animation is only played when the character is again hitting the ground. So let's see how I did this. I split the animation in Blender. We have a jump animation. This is the start and it ends at the midpoint of the animation. You can see that I keep the feet always at the same position on the set axis. And this is because I move the character upwards in the game engine, not here in the animation, okay? Otherwise, if I would move it here and in the game engine, I would get wrong values for the colliders and the character controller. Let's have a look at this here in Unity. When I press the spacebar here to jump, you can see on the left side in the scene view that the mesh, the character controller and the colliders are moving upwards. So if I would move the mesh upwards in the animation, it would no longer be in sync with the character controller. Okay, so I exported the character again as FBX with this new animations, jump and jump end. Here you can see both animations and I added them to my animator controller as new states. I have a jump and a jump end state and a new parameter which is called is in air and this indicates if the character is currently jumping. This parameter is set by the player controller script, I will show this in a moment. There are transitions from the idle and the run state to the jump state and these are executed only if is in air is set to true. Another transition goes from jump to jump end and this is entered only if is in air is again set to false. The jump end is always played to the end because I set the has exit time to true. Ok, so let's go back to the Unity editor, find the player controller script and double click it to edit the script in Visual Studio. The changes I made can be found in the update method of the player controller. Here I check first if the character controller is grounded. If this is the case, I set the isInAir variable of the animator to true if the user has pressed the jump button that represents the spacebar of the keyboard by default. After that, I set the y-axis value of the player's move direction vector to the jump speed that I defined as a public variable. In the else case, if the jump button isn't pressed, I set the is in air to false. Ok, these were my modifications to add this nice jump feature to the asset. Alright guys, the new version of the Low Poly Game Kit is already uploaded to the Asset Store and of course you can download it for free and I want to keep it available for free, so it would be great if you support the development by being my patron. Think about it, here's the link to my patron page. Ok guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned and see you soon on JNM.